On May 29th, Sigma Xi President Geraldine Richmond and Executive Director Jamie Vernon traveled to Hawaii to present the Gold Key Award to Gordon Moore at his home. Moore is co-founder of the Intel Corporation, author of Moore's Law, and co-founder of the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation, which seeks to advance basic science through developing new technologies, supporting imaginative research scientists, and creating new collaborations. The Gold Key Award is the Society's highest honor and recognizes a member for extraordinary professional contributions and for upholding the values in Sigma Xi's mission. The following video was recorded during the award presentation. I'd like to thank you for the award, for coming here to deliver it. I certainly feel honored. Uh, hearing that this is Sigma Xi's top award makes it doubly valuable. And knowing the person to whom it was delivered for the first time, um, I think you started on a high note, and it'll be a challenge for people to keep up with that in the future. I think Sigma Xi is entering a period when science is going to change significantly. Uh, I hope for the better. One thing now, people don't in general consider science the ultimate authority. Uh, you hear second guessing many places by people who should know better, be it vaccines and anyhow vaccines aren't as bad as they're claimed to be by some people. And we see rescission now back to uh, having outbreaks of measles and other diseases that have for all intents and purposes been cured, could be eliminated from scourges of earth, but because of some people's views, that their guess is better than our scientific information. It doesn't get done. And I'm afraid that's the beginning of a trend. We're going to see more and more cases where non-science has a greater impact than science does. I even see it on television. Watching a program nominally science and finding that the thing they're studying are some ancient buildings and uh, other things because they can't figure out how humans could have done them. It's much easier to say aliens came and built these things before. To do that in a science program really hurts my feelings. And you can see many other cases where this is what is happening. I don't know quite how we turn it around other than educating people or re-educating them into what science actually does. It does measurements and experiments to establish hypotheses of what's really happening. And I think getting that idea across and giving our up and coming scientists, the children, enough practice so they can see it directly is the kind of thing that has to happen to get it to a reasonable level. Another thing about Sigma Xi that amazes me is how successful you've been with what I'll call micro-grants or research. I knew that this had been an important technique in 
dealing with some of the developing population where just enough money to get something started can be enough to get it on the road to long-term success. But I had never seen it applied to science so dramatically as Sigma Xi is. Uh, I think the STEM education that is being pushed is potentially a liability if it's not combined with the teaching that science is something that really reveals the, the truth. So I hope you're at least as successful in your next hundred plus years that you've been in the past. Thanks again, and I feel honored.